Hello traders, FS Pepaletti here. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full time down analysis. So on the monthly, I personally still think this is a 1 and a 2 right here. I think we're in a wave 3, and I still think this thing has a long ways to go to the upside. My pretensions are actually around 2550 area to finish off this wave 3. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still believe this right here is an uptrend. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, most likely a 1. I still think this is a corrective pattern, wave 2. I think we're in a wave 3. I think that this right here is just a subdivision of that wave 3, like a 1 of 3, a 2 of 3, and eventually it's going to keep on going up if it hasn't started already for a wave 3 of wave 3. So taking it down to the daily time frame. Like I said, I'm pretty confident this first move up is a 1. I think this is 3 waves down W, 3 waves up X, and 1, 2, 3 waves down Y. And we did turn right at the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A of Y, projected off the top of wave B of Y. It's pretty impulsive up. Hopefully this really is the end of a crest and the end of a wave 2, because if it is, then this is going to be a really good long opportunity, and we're definitely going to want to try to get in on every single pullback that we see on sort of time frames for the continuation of this wave 3 of wave 3. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, it definitely does have that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shape. It does kind of make you think that it could make a crest and now. We do have some dollar news coming out this afternoon, so... I personally wouldn't really be trying to sort this thing unless it went down a broke structure. I think there's always, I mean, I do feel like with that state that we got, there is a pretty good chance that it will make a proper pullback, which honestly for me is really, really good news because at the end of these pullbacks is where I will be looking to go long again for the continuation of this uptrend. If this really is a wave three, then this is going to give us lots of opportunities to go long in the coming weeks and coming months for the continuation of this wave three. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, I don't really think I would want to sort this thing unless it went down and broke structure. I think it's kind of dangerous because this possibly could just make a little pullback and just keep on going up. If it does make a bigger pullback, which really is actually good news for us because if it makes a big proper pullback like this, that means at the end of this ABC correction, it's going to be a very, very good opportunity to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. But like I said, I would be cautious sorting this thing. I personally am not sorting it. I'm personally waiting patiently to see if it makes a little correction like this to go long. Or to see if it makes a bigger proper crutch and like this. Either scenario, when it happens, I will definitely be ready to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. I mean, maybe this is going to be like a 1 and a 2, like a subdivision 1-2, and eventually it goes up for a wave 3. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.